In this video, I'm going to talk about the bisection method as a root finding method. I will discuss the method description, error calculating, and examples and some questions. I will talk about the bisection method as an iteration method, how many iterations we need to achieve a specific accuracy, bisection method stopping criteria, approximating a root with a specific accuracy, and approximating radicals with a specific tolerance. The bisection method is a method depending on the intermediate value theorem. So the intermediate value theorem says if we have a continuous function f of x on an interval a, b, and if f of a times f of b equal a minus value, so we have different signs of f of a and f of b, so it should be a root inside this interval, the open interval a, b, at least one root. Here, if we see this figure about at y equal f of x, we have the root p. So how the bisection method works? The bisection method, first, it takes the interval a, b. Then, it bisects this interval by 2. So a plus b over 2 gives us p1. Now, f of p1 is a positive value. So, we eliminate the B and we take the new interval AP1. So, the new interval is AP1. Why? Because A is, F of A is negative, F of P1 is positive, so our new interval is AP1. Then, we, we bisect the interval AP1 by 2, then we have P2. Now, f of p2 is negative so we will eliminate the a and we will take the left hand side of the interval the left part of the interval to be p2 because it is the negative so we have the new interval p2 p1 and then we bisect this interval by 2 and so on so here we are close and close to the real root p. Now the bisection method. If we have a continuous function f of x on an interval, a closed uh, interval a, b, with f of a times f of b is negative, there must be a root p in the interval. This is what we said about the intermediate value theorem. So how we can find an approximation p n of the real root p? So first, we set the new interval a1, b1 to be a, b. Now, we calculate p1 to be a1 plus b1 over 2. And we compute f of p1. If f of p1 is equal to 0, then our root is p1. Then we, we should be very lucky. Now, if f of a1 times f of p1 is negative, then we set the new interval a2, b2 to be a1, p1. Otherwise, if we have f of p1 times f of b1 is negative, then the new interval a2, b2 will be p1, b1. We repeat this with p2 equal a2 plus b2 over 2, and we make the same procedure here. Now, it will, if we want to take an example to see how the bisection method works. The equation f of x equal x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10 equals 0 has a root in the interval 1 to y because f of 1 is negative and f of 2 is positive. So, we have this table. How we make this table? First, we make the n for the iteration. So how many iterations we need, we will see later. But here, the n is for the iteration. 
The AN is the left hand of our interval. The BN is our right hand of our interval. PN is our root or our approximating approximation for the root, which we can calculate by this equality, PN equal AN plus BN over 2. Now, because f of 1 is negative, so we will have this column to be negative, the negative column. And because f of 2 is positive, so here we keep this for the positive values. Now, for the first row, an equal 1, bn equal 2, pn equal 1 plus 2 over 2, which is 1.5. Now, because the function, the, the value of f of 1.5 equal this value which is positive so we take this value of pn and we replace it in the second row with the positive column in the positive column so we will have in the second row we will have one we keep the one for the neg negative and we replace the two by 1.5 then we calculate also the pn one plus 1.5 so 1 plus 1.5 over 2 equal 1.25. Now, f of 1.25, we will take this value and replace it by the x here. So we will have the f of 1.25. The f of 1.25 is negative. So we will take this pn and we will go to the negative column we will replace the one here by 1.25 and we will keep the 1.5 here and so on so this is our pn our the ab approximation of the root this is our f of pn and these are the intervals and how we can take these new intervals according to the value of f of pn so now we have a theorem suppose that f is a continuous function over the closed interval a b and f of a times f of b is less than zero the bisection method generates a sequence p n from n equal one to infinity approximating a zero p of f with the absolute value of p n minus p is less than or equal b minus a over two to the to the power n when n is greater than or equal 1. Now, according to this, we can find the number of iterations needed to achieve a specific tolerance epsilon in the bisection, using the bisection method. So here, pn minus p is less than or equal b minus a over 2 to the power n according to our theorem. So this is, we want this to be less than epsilon. Now, we make some uh, math here, and we will have 2 to the power n is greater than b minus a over epsilon. Now, if we take the log 2 of the two sides, we will have log 2 to the power n2 is greater than log b minus a over epsilon. Now, this will be equal to n, so n is greater than log b minus a over epsilon so our n will be greater than this value so in the next example we will see how we can use this formula that we achieved according to the last theorem to determine the number of iterations necessary to solve f of x equal x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10 equals 0 with an accuracy 10 to the minus 3 Using the interval a, b, a equal 1, b equal 2, requires finding an integer n that's satisfied. Now, according to our formula, we have n is greater than log b minus a over epsilon. Our epsilon is 10 to the minus 3. b equal 2 minus a equal 1, so we will have 1. So, n will be greater than log 2 with here we have 1000 so what is the value of this using a calculator we have 9.96 so our n is greater than 9.96 and will be a natural number so we will need 10 iterations 
will ensure an approximating accuracy to within 10 to, to the minus 3 using the bisection method. Now, the bisection method stopping criteria. In, your, in reality, we don't have an exact value to use the absolute error or the relative error. So, how we can stop our iteration? We will not go to infinity by infinite number of iterations. If we have epsilon to be the tolerance, we stop the iterations when one of the following holds. If pn minus pn minus 1, the absolute value is less than epsilon, or if we have pn minus pn minus 1 over pn absolute value is less than epsilon, or if our f of pn as an absolute value is less than epsilon. These are the criteria of to stop the bisection method. Now we will have some questions. In question 1, use the bisection method to find P3 for f of x equal radical x minus cosine x on the interval 0, 1. First of all, if we have here a trigon trigonometric function, you need to use the radian in your calculator. So, if you use the degree form, you will have error in your calculations. So you need to use the radian. Now, f of 0 equal negative 1. So it is a negative value. f of 1 is a positive value. If we w you want p1, p1 is 0 plus 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2, which is half. Now, f of half according to this formula, according to our f, is a negative value. So as you see, when p n equal half, we will replace it by the zero of the negative column value. So we will have half here, and we will keep one here, as we see before. Now, p2 is calculated by p1 plus a1, P1 plus, plus B1 over 2, which is half plus 1 over 2, which is 0 0.75. Now, F of 0 0.75 is a positive value. So, we, we will take this Pn, P2, and we will replace it in the column, the positive column. And so, we will have this new interval. So, our, our P3, which he needs in this question, is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.75 over 2. So we will have 0 0.625. In question 2, he told me to use the bisection method to find solution accurate to within 10 to the minus 2 for this function, x cubed minus 7x squared plus 14x minus 6 equals 0 on the interval 0, 1. As you see here, all the time we will have our function to be equal zero. So we are searching for a root, for a solution for our problem. Now f of x is this one. We will take f of zero. What is the value f of zero? f of zero is negative six, so it is a negative value. And f of one equal two, so it is a positive value. Now, in the first iteration, we will have a n equals zero b1 equal 1 and p1 equal 0 plus 1 over 2 which is half now f of half using this f is a negative value so we will take our p1 and replace it in the column of the negative and we keep the positive value here so our new interval is half 1 half plus 1 over 2 equals 0 0.75 f of 0 0.75 is a positive value, so we will take this and replace it in the positive column. And we continue this. Now, what is f of pn in these iterations? All the time we calculate it. Now, if we have the value of calculation is less than or equal the 10 to the minus 2, then we stop our method we stop our iterations so we will stop here and our p and our approximation for the root of this uh, function 
in the interval 0, 1 will be 0 0.585938. In the next question, he told me to sketch the graphs of y equal x and y equal 2 sine x in part A. So I use the Desmos website for graphing and he gives me this. You can use uh, uh, graphing by hand it is very easy to graph these two functions now we graph to have an idea about the roots of this function the roots of this function or we have in part B he told me to find the approximation of within 10 to the minus 5 to the first positive value of x with x equal to sine x. He told me that he wanted to know what is the intersection between these two graphs in the positive value. Here is the negative value of intersection, here is the zero value of intersection, and here is the positive value of intersection. As you see here, he didn't tell me anything about the interval that I should work on. So, I told you before, our function f is a function that equal to 0. So we have to take this value and send it to the left hand side. So we will have x minus 2 sine x. This is our function. Now, according to the graph here, we have our root is between, we can take it between 1 and 3. Our root here, our, the two graphs intersection will be between 1 and 3. Let us see if this is correct. f of 1 equal a negative value. f of 3 is a positive value. So according to the intermediate value theorem, we have a root between these two points in this interval 1, 3. So in the first iteration, we will take our interval to be 1, 3. Now, we calculate Pn or P1 equal 1 plus 3 over 2, which is 2. And we calculate f of Pn. f of Pn is a positive value, so we will take this 2 and replace it by the 3 in the first row. And we will uh, keep this one here as we said before. And we will continue calculating until we will have the absolute value of f of p n is less than 10 to the minus 5 that he told me that he wants this accuracy so we will continue until we will have this value these values are not less than 10 to the minus 5 as the absolute value of them so we will stop here and the approximation of our root to this uh, function is 1.895493 so the intersection between the two graphs will be very near to 2 as you see here in the last question we will talk about finding approximation to the third radical of 25 correct to within 10 to the minus 4 using the bisection algorithm so we don't have our function f of x and we don't have our interval that we have to work on so how to deal with this kind of questions first we will give the value of this radical to be x then we cubed the two parts and we will have x cubed equal 25 we will eliminate this radical this is the first thing to do now we will take 25 to the left hand side we will have x cubed minus 25 equals 0 so what is the radical means to this function this is the solution of this function this is a solution so we need to use the bisection method with f of x equal x cubed minus 25 to find this root now what is our interval we tried some numbers to reach that f of 2 for example is negative f of 3 is positive so we can take the uh, the root to be between 2 and 3 you can use other numbers for example if we you can take f of 0 which is minus 25 which is negative 
and f of 3 which is positive. So the first, uh, the first interval that we will start with is 2, 3. Now according to this interval, Pn will be 2 plus 3 over 2 which is 2.5. The function f of x, if we replace x by 2.5, we will have a negative value. So we will take this number and we will replace it in the negative column. We will keep Bn and then we will continue uh, calculating P2. P2 will be 2.5 plus 3 over 2. We will have this value. F of this value will be a negative 1. So we will take this value and replace it again with the negative part 2.5 and so on. So when we, when we will stop, when we, we will stop when the absolute value of F of Pn is less than 10 to the minus 4 and we will have this in the 17th call 17th row with a an error of this so 2.87699 times 10 to the minus 5 this will be less than 10 to the minus 4 so our root will be 2.924019 what is this means? This means that the approximation of this radical will be this value with an accuracy of 10 to the minus 4. If, we, if you see that this video is valuable for you, please make a subscription and like. Thank you very much and goodbye.